Hey, good morning guys. Here's a little bit of footage for you of our Mits uh, Hyundai Santa Fe Highlander turbo diesel. This vehicle here is, I'll take you around and show you, but it's got quite a number of additional features and accessories on the car. And uh, yeah, as you'll see, the condition and overall standard of the vehicle is, is, is fantastic. It is really a good 8, 9 out of 10, this car. But as I'll take you through and show you a few of its features, but of course the Highlander does give you a few nicer upgrades from the standard model. One of course being the front frog driving lights in the front of the vehicle. See nice chrome trimming and finishing. Uh, and also taking you around the car. The tyres on the vehicle will be easily a 90% tread. I believe they are a brand new tread to be totally honest with you. Immaculate. That rim there as well, just showing you again Warren. There might be one light scuff here and there around it, but I'll try and show you as much detail as I can. But as you can see, the current condition of the wheels and tyres, you will notice, is very tidy. High visibility indicators there on the car for you as well. Once again, good thick tread on the rear tyre as well. No gutter ashes, no marks or anything of that nature on there as well. Um, so bringing you back around this side, as you can see, it's nice a chrome finishing. You got the smart start door option there as well, just so you can see. So as you're getting up to the car, you can simply press that. See a nice set of roof rails and roof racks fitted up on the top there for you. So excellent for that weekend trip away where you might need them. But as you can tell, gun barrel straight down, all your panels, everything's fantastic with respect to all that. So nice and fresh there. Reversing sensors and reversing camera. Tow bar, of course, already fitted on the vehicle for you. That's probably the extent of a couple of marks there, mate. So while just showing you my finger, that's how small they obviously are. So just taking you through those. There's one or two little luggage marks on the back of that bumper bar. So effectively all there is there. As you'll notice, sensors across there. And I'm gonna open up the back for you, just so you can see. The seats haven't been folded down and aren't not covered in mildew and mold as per probably previous experiences. But as you'll notice, the leather, the trim, everything with respect to the back seats. All adjustable headrests, of course. You've also got ducted air conditioning and adjusters and of course 12 volt plugs down in the back of the vehicle there for you as well. Right through in your flooring over to this side. Anchor points across the back the seats there for you as well should they be a requirement. But once again that's all your leather seating. I'll bring you around and give you another view of that very shortly. <coughs> But back around this side, once again, I couldn't actually find any gutter marks, any damage to any of the wheels, any of the body or panel. It was literally those couple of very, very light uh, luggage marks that were on the back bumper bar, which are effectively, um, you could certainly um, hit those with a white pen and they'd clean up pretty much non-existent. Bringing you back around this side just to show you the other wheel on the front of the car. Once again, tyres are all consistent right around the vehicle. But yeah, this, uh, even from that point of view, I don't think you'll find anything in terms of that mark through the wheels or through the body. Same thing down this side of the car. Going to open it up through the inside of that. Passenger side as well as the driver's side is a fully electronic component. It's a really handy for those sorts of weekend trips. But as you'll see, winding it all forward, winding it all back really nice and user friendly. Once again the leather seating inside the car fitted with side airbags of course this car has actually got about 10 airbags in the car not to mention obviously the sunroof up there in the skies which is fully operational just showing you through but all your leather has been see, well cleaned and maintained even a couple of the more heavier trafficked areas we've rejuvenated when we got the car into stock of course, sequential automatic. I have both keys there for you as well. USB iPod connectivity through there. Independent climate control system. Right through your air conditioning stages. They've put in an aftermarket unit in here, so you do have the option of satellite navigation. Obviously, the reversing camera not only goes through the screen, but it'll also show up in your mirror up in the top there. So that's the factory arrangement that's always been. Um, once again, just running you through the middle seats here. So the middle row of the car. So all your magazine racks, your 12 volt plugs. Everything's still in really nice new condition. So just as I open up there, 
even right through to your drink holders. Said all your leathers just said really, really spotlessly clean. It is in every sense just a beautiful, nice, clean series of a top of the range model car. Generally, when people do buy the top of the range, it's very rare that they sort of run them into the ground. They they paid the good money for a nice car and they, they look after it. So this would certainly be of no difference. It's a five-year-old vehicle. It's actually compliance there, just so that you can see as I spin you around as 1111. Okay, so that's the Santa Fe Highlander there. I'm just going to go around the front of the car again and then I'll start the vehicle up for you just to complete that presentation. <coughs> So there's not really much to it. I've already got the key sitting in the car, so at all times that's connected. I've got my foot on the brake. Simple case of pressing that button once. And now we have a running turbo diesel. So you got on there your trip computer. Once again, just highlighting to you. Sorry about that bad photography, I hit the focus button there. The zoom. Just opening up the bonnet now for you and I'm going to go and show you underneath. So once again, even all your protectors under your bonnet, your sound deadeners, everything there is completely covered for you. Runs nice and sharp, very quiet, very, very straightforward little arrangement. Okay, so I'm just going to close all that back down. So that is the 2011 Hyundai Santa Fe Highlander all-wheel drive seven-seater turbo diesel. Certainly uh, trust you will enjoy the vehicle for years to come. Certainly uh, it will arrive and give you every expectation that you have on the car. Uh, look forward to completing all that with you today and getting this on a truck for you. Thanks again, guys, and um, yeah, look forward to seeing you in it. Thank you. Bye.